Welcome to the Census Academy Open Mapping Series. This is Module 2 of the OpenStreetMap Learning Path, Editing and Tagging with the ID Editor. In this module, you will learn the basic steps to add a feature to OpenStreetMap using the in-browser ID Editor. You will use aerial imagery to trace a building footprint, tag the object by adding a description of the feature, learn how to compare OpenStreetMap data with Tiger data, and lastly, add a change set comment and save your data to the map. With breaks for self-paced learning, you should be able to complete this module in about 30 to 40 minutes. Two points to make before we begin. Number one, you will get more out of mapping if you use a mouse. It's very difficult to map using a trackpad or a touchscreen. Second, and most important, do not violate the copyright by copying data from Google, Bing, MapQuest, or any other proprietary map. Part 1. The ID Editor Walkthrough Start by logging into your OpenStreetMap account. Use the Nominatum search box to find and zoom to an area familiar to you. Note that you'll not be able to edit unless you're zoomed in sufficiently. Click Edit from the top of the screen and select the option for ID. You'll be presented with a choice of editing now or taking the walkthrough. Let's take the walkthrough. The walkthrough will give you a simple but comprehensive set of basic mapping techniques and should take you about 15 to 20 minutes to complete. Note that you can always recall this walkthrough from the Help button on the right-hand side of the screen. Pause the video here and take the walkthrough. Resume when you finish the walkthrough. Now that you're familiar with the basic editing techniques, let's move on to part two, adding a building to OpenStreetMap. First, find your area of interest by entering a familiar place name in the search box. Choose your specific area from the list. This will center the map in the general vicinity of your area of interest. Then, zoom to the neighborhood level. By zooming to the neighborhood level, you ensure that you can clearly see individual buildings and other features as you map. Once you've zoomed to the neighborhood level, click the Edit button and select ID from the list of options. This will call up the ID editor, which works in the browser. In your chosen area of interest, find a building that is not on OpenStreetMap. It will appear on the imagery, but it will lack an outline indicating that it is not on the map. Because you're adding a building footprint, click Area. Now trace the building outline by clicking on each corner of the building. Make your last click on the very first node to close the area and complete your building. Then, square your building by right-clicking and selecting the square icon from the context menu or by typing an S on your keyboard. Good. Now you've drawn a feature. The next step is tagging the feature as a building. For that, we move to Part 3, Tagging Your Building. When we tag something on OpenStreetMap, we do two things. We give an identity to the feature we just drew, and we add descriptive characteristics to that feature. Click on the building you just added. Then, in the left-hand pane, click Building Features. Since we don't know what kind of building this is, we'll not attempt to classify it. However, if you know something about this building, such as name, address, telephone, website, and so forth, add those in the pane on the left. Make sure you scroll to the bottom of the panel to see all the applicable attributes for buildings. Pause the video here if necessary to examine the tagging options for your building. Next, let's save your edits. Near the top center of the screen, click the Save button. In the box entered Change Set comment, Enter a short description of your mapping activity. In this example, you may write, Mapped my first building. This is also a good place to enter a hashtag. For example, hashtag my first edit. We also strongly suggest ticking the box requesting a review of your edits, particularly if you are a first time mapper. Once you've entered your chain set comments, click the Upload button, which sends your updates to OpenStreetMap. Your edits should be visible on the map in a few minutes. Congratulations, you've now contributed your first edit to OpenStreetMap. Now let's move to part four, adding roads. The name OpenStreetMap implies roads are a key feature on the map. 
In this part of the lesson, we'll compare road coverage between OpenStreetMap and the U.S. Census Bureau's TIGER data to ensure that roads are complete. TIGER is a geodata product of the U.S. Census Bureau and consists of roads and other base map features. For OpenStreetMap, TIGER can be an important source of validation in rural areas and in rapidly changing landscapes across the U.S. Why use TIGER? It is freely licensed, it aims to be consistent and complete for the U.S. and territories, and it is updated annually. Now let's show you how to overlay the two layers. To do this, position the map in an area familiar to you and click the Edit button to call up the ID editor. Open the Layers control and tick the box for Tiger Roads 2017. Then zoom out until you see the red and yellow lines. Roads from Tiger will show up as yellow. The red lines are roads in Tiger that happen to be missing in OpenStreetMap. You can pause the video here to add the Tiger overlay and find some missing roads. When you resume, we'll add one of these missing roads to OpenStreetMap. By now you've found a red line and you've zoomed into it so it occupies the center of the screen. Since roads are linear features, we're going to click Line to add this road. Let's drop the first node at the intersection with the existing road and continue adding points to trace the path of the road. Double-click on the last point to end your tracing. It is important to make sure your roads connect to the existing road network, so snap your first node directly on the existing road. Once you've added the road segment, move to the Attribute pane and either search for Road in the search box or select Road Features from the list. For now, just classify the road as an unknown type or Highway equals Road. As a side note, all roads and paths are classified as highways in OpenStreetMap, even foot trails. It's okay to copy the road name from the Tiger overlay. Census data are public resources owned by the people and free to use in OpenStreetMap. You can save your road to OpenStreetMap, making sure you add a brief chain set comment before you upload. At this point, you should know how to digitize a building, square its corners, and tag it with the appropriate building type. You should also know how to add missing roads to OpenStreetMap using the Tiger overlay. You're now ready to proceed to the next module in the series, OpenStreetMap Module 3, using the OpenStreetMap Tasking Manager.